I'm obsessing so much about anxiety that I caused this panic attack myself. I always want to have panic attacks and anxiety. I've wanted this to happen. Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we this morning? Sassy says, I will lay and guard slash sleep. MRL says, lettuce. Riddler says, brother. So, got the house to myself. Yay! My mom is on her way to Atlanta to get on a flight to go to Disney for a race. So, good luck, mom. Um, my dad's at work. My brother's at work. The boys are starting to fight. Really, guys? I'm trying to vlog here, and you're being rude. Really? You suck. So, now I'm home alone. Ooh, we should check on the ba the shower things. They feel pretty hard. It's going to be fun to pop them out. Hopefully, they will not crumble. I would be very sad if they do. Because I know I'll be using one in a little bit whenever I shower, so that should be fun. But, yeah. Just want to check in and tell you, good morning, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! Hi Sassy Girl! Hi Emerald. Hey Riddler! So, fun things happened in the shower, of course, as they always do. So first off, I tested my shower steamers. Well, one of them. One, the only ones that actually held together and didn't have a hollow spot in the middle were my Iron Man ones. Because I have two Hulk, two The Things, Two Captain America and two Iron Man. But I used one of the Iron Man, sh the Captain America shields, because Captain America is my favorite. Are you having fun with the lettuce? Do you like the lettuce? Yes, I do. And I did that. And it took a little bit for the smell to actually come up. And then even then, it didn't really work as well. So I should have put more oil in it. And then I want to put food coloring in it next time to make it a little more fun. And then also, Emerald got his first bath. He was not that thrilled. He's not thrilled right now. But, I mean, good thing is that he's almost dry. He dries pretty quick. I towel dried him really good. I cleaned his ears for the first time. I had to hold him like a baby so he'd stay calm. But, you know, it works. So now I'm getting dressed to head to Walmart before snow hits. It's supposed to snow. I'm so excited. Um, so just wanted to check in with you guys. I might check in at Walmart, <laughs> the worst place on earth. I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! Sassy girl! Hello! Emerald, what are you doing? Please don't pee on my floor. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Good boy. <gasps> really? Hi, buddy. Sweet boy. So, you know those moments that happen when you know it's 100% vlogable but you don't have a camera with you and even then you just kind of enjoy the moment well as you guys know that's how I do a lot of vlogging I tend to not record everything just because I don't have a camera but I should have recorded this it snowed outside I would show you right now but it doesn't look like a magical winter wonderland at all it literally is just, like, maybe a couple of spots has a light dusting of snow. Otherwise, <laughs> welcome to the south. We have leaves. Leaves everywhere. Um, but it was snowing pretty hard earlier. So I took little man outside so he could experience snow for the first time. It was very funny watching the snow get caught up in his fur. But he didn't care. He was just like, okay. Just went on to go potty like nothing was going on like there wasn't white things falling all over him but if there if there's any more snow that like makes the ground actually white I think he'll actually notice but yeah see we've been chilling huh are you napping again no hi I love you that'd be my sassy girl what you think Riddler 
So I found an upside to Riddler in his new coat is that if he goes outside, we can't lose him. Because fun fact about Weimariners. Um, if you want to know a billion fun facts about them, watch Dogs 101 Weimariners on YouTube. Love it. Dogs 101 is a great show anyway. But um, sometimes, because of their silver coloring, they can actually disappear. They are called the Grey Ghosts for that reason. And at first I thought, oh, nah, we're out, like, outside. We can't lose him. Oh, no. Oh, no, my friend. You can lose your dog. <laughs> Maybe it's easier if you have blues, but silver, yeah. You can lose him. So, <laughs> I put his jacket on before we went outside because it was kind of cold. And it's reversible. One side is red plaid. The other side is black. And I had it with the red plaid facing out, just, you know, not thinking about it. If he has the red plaid on, he cannot get lost. Because you cannot loot, like, you can barely see the neon strip that is his collar. But you can see a huge chunk of plaid walking around. <laughs> so, yeah. Fun times. And hopefully when it snows, if it snows again, then that will show you a little bit in the snow. Because that is just precious. So, yeah. That's been the day right now. I can squeak it. Hey guys! So there's the two whimy boys sleeping at the door. And of course there's Miss Sassy Girl. I'm not feeling 100% great right now. Of course anxiety's back up again about am I training MRL right? Which, as you guys know, I worry about that a lot. And I know I shouldn't be worrying so much about it because then that could negatively impact him, I know. But it is hard to get my brain to shut up. It's very difficult to do that. Um, I especially got worried because I got onto Riddler for interfering while I was trying to train Emeril, which normally I don't train him around Riddler for a little bit. Because he can't do things with distractions yet. And Riddler's a huge distraction. And Riddler's also obsessed with the new treats. So he was getting in the way trying to steal the treats. And I got mad and yelled at Riddler. And then a little bit just went out into the hall. He wouldn't come to me. And now he's sleeping in the hall. And my brain went into overdrive thinking, oh, your dog hates you now. He's scared of you, whatever. And I'm just like, brain, please stop. Brain's like, no. I'm like, please, no. So, it's in overdrive, overthinking mode. About, did I already screw up my own dog? And I mean, it could be absolutely nothing. He could have just wanted to sleep in the hall. He does that. And the floor might be cooler out there, because it is kind of warm in my room. But I cannot help that. I'm going to give you guys a fun fact. Are you ready for this? Because sometimes some people don't understand this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. Anxiety is not something that can be controlled. Trust me, if I could control my anxiety, then I wouldn't have it. Because I could just be like, stop. Well, I can't snap with this hand, I'm holding the camera with my left hand. So, you get the point though. And of course I'm going to be worried over MRL. Because I want everything to go right with him. And of course, I want to make sure that he's properly... And then my brain is automatically going to proper socialization, talking with a trainer, doing this, doing that. And of course, it's also kind of worry because I'm trying to find a new psychiatrist here. Because I'm going to need a psychiatrist pretty soon since my Ambien is a controlled substance. So I have to have a doctor. I found three in the area. So apparently there was more than I thought because I only knew about Dr. White and Dr. Stevens. Which Dr. Stevens will not go to. And Dr. White, as far as I know, he was not accepting new patients. So, probably on Tuesday, since I'll have more time, I will be calling the other three doctors. There was Dr. Beckner, Dr. What was his last name? I think it was Hernandez. And then, I forget the third one's last name. I think it was like Saminov. I don't remember. I'll call them and see like about insurance and everything and see where it goes from there. Because I'm still going to need a doctor for medication management. And I mean, I could go to a GP, which is general practitioner, but it is a lot better, especially if you have a mental illness, to go to a psychiatrist. Because they have more of an idea of 
like mental health because GPs usually don't know what they're doing half the time when it comes to mental health. So there you go, fun fact for you. But now I'm going to try to calm down. Calm down with some fry life and slice of lime and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so I'm alone in my room right now. The dogs are downstairs and I'm not doing the greatest. Um, I think this is a panic attack setting in. Lovely. I feel like my heart's pounding. I can't breathe. My brain is going in and out of focus. Like, feels like memory's a lot worse right now. Um, I'll have moments where I'm like just staring off into space and it feels like my brain's completely shut down. And, um, there will also be moments where I re just realize that I've not been breathing and I'm holding my breath, so I think my mind's just going into overdrive. <laughs> Besides the frustration with Little Bit, I have to remember that he's a puppy, and then all of a sudden it j just every anxious thought that my brain could think of just pops out. Um, well, of course, one of my most favorite thoughts, you're obsessing too much over it. Because, yes, a chemical imbalance where you cannot control what your brain is doing is an obsession. Yeah, exactly. I'm obsessing so much about anxiety that I caused this panic attack myself. I always want to have panic attacks and anxiety. I've wanted this to happen. You know? Because I can control it too. I can control this. So I choose to feel really uncomfortable and not be able to breathe very well and feel my heart trying to escape my very tight chest. Well, you know, I'm just making it up. Hey guys! So I have Riddler and I have Mr. Emeril. Sassy is downstairs with my dad watching Gold Rush. And of course the fire is up so she's good. It's snowing outside. I would have brought the camera to show you guys but it's dark outside. You wouldn't be able to see anything. So depending on what happens tomorrow you could see Emeril in the snow. Um, if road conditions are too bad, then I won't be going to my internship because of ice, which I'll then notify my boss and notify my lead keeper. So we'll get that taken care of when it gets there. Um, but to let you guys know how MRL thought of the snow, he didn't care. For a few minutes... He was like, what is this stuff I'm walking on? But he didn't care. Rain or snow does not bother him. It bothers him, though. I think because of his short hair. But I'm feeling better, which is good. I'm feeling tired. Um, I just need to keep reminding myself. Little bit's a puppy. Just remember that. And, yeah. That is about it for the night. Oh, and let me tell you something one of my best friends showed me. It was funny. Why do we not call a vet a dog tour? <gasps> we ended up making a name, combining doctor with different animals, so yeah. Shout out to you, Lakota. You're one of my best friends, and you don't know it, but you made me feel better, so thank you. And now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, if you have a dog, does your dog like snow? Or how do they react to snow? If you do not have a dog, do you like snow? And how do you react to snow? Just put your answer down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, itchy dog. Good night, sleepy dog. Sweet dreams.